Welcome in my math party people. Anderson here, your math coach. So what we're doing in this video is we're going to be going ahead and understanding that when it comes to taking the test, they can mix topics however they'd like to. So what that means is, hey, if you're going to be doing order of operations and decimals and percents and proportions and all that stuff, you can mix and match any of those topics really. And so for this video here, I'm going to show you, hey, what happens when you mix order of operations with decimals. And so the idea is that, hey, if you know decimals, operations with them, and you know PEMDAs and order of operations, this is something that shouldn't be complicated at all. Yeah, it might take a few more steps or a little more thinking in terms of, hey, the rules for each, but at the end of the day, it's all one and the same. Practice, increase your speed, increase your confidence, and blow that test out of the water. So here we go, my math party people. Let's evaluate each expression here. I'm gonna show you maybe 10 examples, 12 examples here in this video. Let's get to work. So we have 4.1 minus 3.6, plus 1.32. So if you're checking this out, my math party people, hey, immediately, I'm noticing that the order is gonna be first here, then we're gonna add at the end. Remember, order of operations, addition and subtraction, it's whichever one comes first. And so I see the subtraction first, so I'll do that. 4.1 minus 3.6, you can treat that like 41 minus 36, except just put the decimal back where it was. So that's gonna be 0 0.5 plus 1.32, and then from there, just add that 0.5 in. No mental math needed. That's actually pretty straightforward. Again, as long as you understand place value, knowing that the tenths, the tenths place adds with the tenths place. So that'd be 1.82. You're done. And we can move on. So let's go ahead and get into number two here. So here we have 5.1 squared plus 4.6. Now, if you're looking at this, you're saying, oh my Lord, I have to do 5.1 squared. That seems insane. Sure, I guess. But at the end of the day, you still got to do it. So there's no point in like stopping yourself and complaining if you know what the steps are, which is again, exponent and then add after. Okay, exponent and add. 5.1 squared, take care of business right here, right away. 5.1 times 5.1 and do it as quickly as you can. So 5.1, basically you're multiplying by one first. So that'll just be 5.1 5 or 51 or whatever. Next up, you're gonna bring down that zero for the next row. And now you have 5.1 times five. Well here, we'll go ahead and start off with one times five, which is five, five times five, 25, add it back all together and you're good. So we have ourselves one, 10, six, and two. Two, six, zero, one, and what I'll do is I'll say, hey, we had one decimal place there, one decimal place there, so one, two, that's gonna be 26.01. Sweet, so we have 26.01 and we're adding 4.6, Sounds good. You can use a little bit of mental math here. Add the four first. So that'll be 30.01 plus 0 0.6. Then add the 0 0.6. So it's 30.61. Done and done. So again, at the end of the day, this is literally the same as order of operations, just with decimals. So will it take you slightly longer? Maybe. Yeah. Because you're dealing with more than one digit. So I get that. But at the end of the day, it's still the same process, the same procedure. We're just dealing with different numbers at the end of the day. So let's go through a couple more examples here. Let's go through about eight more and we'll be good. So something like this, you're just adding three decimal or two decimals in a regular number here. So 3.9 plus 5.8, you can really treat that like 39 plus 58 and then put the decimal back where it was. 39 plus 58, what's that gonna be? Using some mental math, what you'll see is that'll end up being 97 with some mental math there. So that'll end up being 9.7. If you want to, you can add the five first for 8.9, then the 0.8 for 9.7. Again, the more practice you get dealing with these operations, the better you'll be. So we have 9.7 plus three, which turns into 12.7, and we are good. Let's keep it going, my math part, people. Up next, we have 2.9 multiplied by the difference of 4.8 and 3.6. Again, just like order of operations, take care of your grouping, and then whatever the result is, multiply by that 2.9. 4.8 minus 3.6, that's gonna be 1.2. So we now have 2.9 times 1.2. Sounds great. And so, Habir, at this point, if you're saying, hey man, I'm a little, you know, we gotta go ahead and multiply decimals, I don't wanna do that. Doesn't matter if you wanna do it or not, we gotta make sure that we know how to execute and keep moving forward the right way. And so how's that gonna look? Right over here. You can take care of 2.9 times 1.2 just like that. With some mental math, I noticed that this is gonna be the same thing as saying 2.9 times one and plus 2.9 times 0.2. So 
So that'll end up becoming 2.9 plus 0.58. So 2.9 plus 0.58, that'll be 3.48. 3.48 is what that should be. So with that, let's go ahead and see what the answer is gonna be here. Let's be real, Mahazbat party people. You're enjoying this YouTube video, but why don't you join me for a free class? I host a free class once a week for two hours. So imagine, two hours of free ASVAB math instruction by yours truly, where you get to ask questions, grow with me, raise your score, and get the job you want. So go ahead, click the link here or in the description to sign up for free, and from there, I'll see you in the next class. But until then, let's get back to the math party. So 2.9 times two, nine times two, that's gonna end up being 18. Two times two is four, add one is five. Okay, great. Then from there, we're gonna go ahead and bring down a zero, 2.9 times one now. Nine times one is nine, two times one is two. And then from here, eight, 14, three. We have two decimal places, one, two. So the answer is 3.48, right there. So again, my math party people, this isn't as complicated as you might think it is. If you know how to deal with decimals and you know how to deal with order of operations, all we're doing is blending the topics together in this video. That is really all we're doing. So let's take care, take care of another one here. 5.6 minus 3.2, all divided by three. Sounds great. 5.6 minus 3.2, that's gonna give me 2.4. And 2.4 divided by three. Remember everybody, what you can do is you can just go ahead and do 24 divided by three and then move that decimal place back. So 24 divided by three is gonna be eight. Move that decimal back and we get 0 0.8 right there. Another way that you could do it if you'd like to, as always, long division is always an option. So three goes into two, zero times. Three goes into 24, eight times, and you're set. Either way works. But notice that if you intimidate yourself into thinking, man, this looks complicated, I don't wanna do it, well then you start sacking yourself out and it's not gonna be a good time. So let's go ahead and keep it going here, my math party people. 2.2 plus 4.8 all multiplied by 3.4. Sounds good. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna take care of business, 2.2 plus 4.8. I know that I can go ahead and mix together the 0.8 and 0.2 to make a whole one. So I can just go ahead and say, hey, let me put the 0.2 over here, that's five, seven. So this ends up becoming seven times 3.4. Sounds good. And if we wanted to use some mental math, we absolutely could. Because seven times three, 21. Seven times 0.4, that's 2.8. 28 and put the decimal back, 2.8. So we have ourselves 21 and 2.8, so that becomes 23.8, and there's my answer right there. So notice with mental math, this can be very, very, very quick, even with decimals, even with decimals. Right here, just proving it to you, four times seven, 28, carry the two. Three times seven is 21, carry the two, 23. One decimal place there, one decimal place back, 23.8. Want to make sure I'm proving it to you, my math party people, because you know I got your back. Check out this next one here. We got 4.7 multiplied by 4.5 minus 2.9. Using some mental math, 4.5 minus 2.9, or 45 minus 29, that's going to be 16 or 1.6. So we end up having 4.7 times 1.6, and then just get to work. Just get to work. You don't want to waste time here. 7 times 6, that's going to be 42. Carry the 4. 4 times 6 is 24, carry the 4, 28. Bring that zero down, let's get to work. 47 times 1 becomes 47. Add these together, 2, 15, carry the 1, and that's 7. So from here, we're going to go ahead and take this decimal, 1, 2, 1, 2, 7.52, and you're done. Notice how I'm going pretty quickly here. And that's because, again, if you've seen the previous videos and if you've been practicing with the worksheets and speed drills, if you're in the course, then what you'll see is that, hey, yeah, we really are just mixing topics together. So practice decimals, practice order of operations, then come back here and you'll see that this is actually very, very straightforward. So let's go through a couple more examples here. 3.8 times 3.4 plus 1.17. Okay, we got multiplication happening first, so don't waste time. 3.8 times 3.4, eight times four, that's gonna be 32. Gotta be quick with it. Three times four is 12, carry the three is 15. Sweet, put the zero down. Eight times three, that's gonna be 24, carry the two. Three times three is nine, carry the two, 11. Boom, two, nine, two, one. We had how many decimals? One, one, so one, one, 
And then from there, what we'll do is add the 1.17. Sweet. And from here, what we can do is a little bit of mental math. We can add the one first to get 13.92, then 14.02, 14.09. Sweet. A little bit of mental math, 14.09. There's the answer, and we're good. So again, at the end of the day, my part of people, calm, cool, collectiveness, that's what we're going for. That's what we're shooting for. Because at the end of the day, the steps really don't change. The numbers might, but the steps really don't. Procedures don't change. Let's go and try to find a more complicated one here. If there's anything more complicated than what we've been doing. You know, just kind of taking a look here, looking for something that looks crazy that I don't want to forget to include here. But really, yeah, this is all pretty much the same. You know, I'll go ahead and do this last problem here just to kind of a piece and we're all set. So here we go. What we have going on here is we're going to be adding first and then multiplying the entire thing. So 3.3 plus 5.2, that becomes 8.5. Got to be quick with it. Got to be quick with it. So 5.8 times 8.5. What we're going to do here, line it up, multiply, and we're set. And before we continue, my math party people, really quick before we continue, I know that you're enjoying this video, and I want to make sure that more people can enjoy these videos just like you. So if you wouldn't mind, just take a quick second, like this video, comment on it, just showing some appreciation, showing what you learned, and then make sure you're subscribed to the channel so that way when we come out with new videos, typically every day, you can be right there on the spot to catch on to them. So help us help others ace the ASVAB. I'm Anderson, let's keep going here. And remember, if you're in the course, make sure that after you watch this video, you go into the worksheet, you go into the speed drill practice, because at the end of the day, I'm telling you my part of people, being able to be very quick and decisive is really half of the work for anything in this test. So eight times five is 40, carry the four. Five times five is 25, carry the four is 29. Next row, eight times eight, 64. 64, carry the six. Five times eight is 40, carry the six is 46. One, two decimal places. So let's go ahead and add here. Zero, 13, nine, and four. One, two decimals. So we have 49.30 or 49.3. Right there, that's A. And look at all that sloppy work because I was going as fast as I could. So with that seven math party people, always hoping that you're having fun here because what we're really going for again is that confidence and that speed. So keep practicing until you have this completely down. I'll see you in the next video, but keep working on those worksheets and speed drills like I said. Go ahead, move forward, and I'll see you in the next video. And so we both know this video just helped you with your test anxiety by just a little bit. And to keep lowering your test anxiety and keep raising your confidence, that's what my ASVAB All Access program is for. The link's right up here. Click it, watch the video on how it works, and you'll see exactly why thousands of my students have raised their scores and gotten the jobs they want. So click there, watch the video, and sign up to raise your score. I'll see you soon.